The devil has no power over the victory that God has prepared for you. You know, that's why the Bible says, my people perish because they lack knowledge. The knowledge that we need in this time to know that in this life and in the life to come, I will not fail. God wants us to have that knowledge. God did not leave us at the mercy of the devil. God did not abandon us at the mercy of life. He has mapped out life to turn out for our good. He has mapped out life to give us the best. So let's take out the thought that I don't know how my life is going to turn. I don't know how things are going to happen. I don't know how this aspect of my life is going to be settled. I want you to be sure deep down in your heart that God has already prepared the best for me. Amen. If you're there, say amen. amen. God has already prepared the best for what? For me. The devil has no power over the victory that God has prepared for you. And you know why he doesn't have power? Because he doesn't know that victory. The devil is not all-knowing. He doesn't know everything. Obviously, he's not a fool, but he doesn't know everything. The things that God has prepared for you, he doesn't know it. The plans that God has for you, he doesn't know it. So don't live life thinking that, oh my God, the devil is attacking me today, tomorrow. He looks as though he knows what is happening. No, he doesn't know a jack. Because that is his duty. The Bible says he goes around like a lion seeking for whom to devour. He goes out to steal, to kill, and destroy. That's nothing new. That's nothing novel. That is his duty. But that doesn't stop us as believers from partaking of our victory in Christ. 